On this video, we are going to compare a single page test with a multi-page test so that you understand which one is best for you and when you should use each one of these different testing methods. First of all, I'm going to talk about a single page test. On a single page test, you send all of your traffic to your sales page and then within the sales page itself, the test will happen. Some people that arrive at that page will see your option A. Some people will see your option B. Everybody arrives at the same page. Your option A and your option B are both on that same page, but it only shows option A to some people and it only shows option B to other people. When they see your web page, they then decide whether or not they want to order. And if they do order your product, we calculate your earnings per click and your click through rate based on whether they saw option A or whether they saw option B. Now, of course, those different options can be anything at all that you want to test. So you could test two different headlines. You could perhaps try two different graphics on your page, or maybe you can just change something like the call to action on your order button. Everybody arrives at the same page. Some people see one version of that page and some people see another. This is particularly useful just for changing one thing at a time so that you can get precise laser targeted testing on your page. It's a great way to optimize your page. There is another way to test and this is multi-page testing and it looks like this. Now in this situation, we actually send all of the traffic to a landing page. Now the landing page that you can see here, it's basically just processes some code to decide whether to send people to your option A or send people to your option B. But in this case, option A and option B are completely different web pages. So let's say for example, that option A is a traditional sales letter and option B is a video sales letter. So very, very different selling formats and you want to know which one works best for your business. You send all of your traffic to the landing page. The landing page then splits that traffic up and it sends some people to your traditional sales letter. It sends some people over to your video sales letter. And when they place an order, it calculates your click through rate and your earnings per click based on which of these two versions of your sales letter or your video sales letter that the person has seen. Now, there is an obvious flaw in a multi-page test over a single page test, and that's the landing page. Because you're sending your traffic to a landing page that does need to process some code, and then it redirects people on to either one of these two options, it does mean that there is a very, very slight delay because a redirect needs to happen. Now, in most cases, that is almost instant. But if someone's got a very, very slow connection, then anything that causes your website to load more slowly is obviously going to affect your sales. So I would recommend, wherever possible, to use a single page split test. However, on a multi-page test, because you can test very, very different websites, uh, it's a very good way to start off your testing so you know which route to go. For example, if you've just launched a product and you're not sure particularly how to promote it, let's say in one sales letter you're working on a story where there's a hero that has gone through some pain and they've managed to solve their problem by using your product, whereas on another sales letter you're more focused on features and bullet points and the way that it can help people uh, in a more traditional way, then they're very different approaches. So using this multi-page split test to see which one of those is best for you is a good place to start. But as soon as you know which one is best for you, switch over to testing out a single page and just change one element at a time so that you can make this, uh, so that you can fine tune and optimize your website. The last thing that I need to say, on a multi-page test, you can test up to four different websites at a time. So all of your traffic goes to the landing page and then it splits that traffic up and it sends people to your completely different sales pages. And you can have up to four of those. So you can basically test uh, two against each other or three against each other or four against each other. Once you've got a winner, then change over to your single page test and just keep switching out one thing at a time. Like test two different headlines, keep the winner. Maybe then try two different subheadings and keep the winner. And once you've got a winner on your headline, do, do continue to test your headline and try to improve it over and over again because each time you do this and each time you find a more successful test, you are increasing your earnings per click and that obviously makes you more money. So that's the difference between a single page test and a multi-page test. 
I would recommend trying to use the single page test whenever possible over a multi-page test. And you can you can change quite a lot within there. The code that we give you to wrap around uh, the element that you are you are testing, you can you can repeat that code in different places in your site. So if you want to uh, test more than one thing at a time, you can do that. Now we do recommend that you only test one thing at a time. But in some situations, let's say if you're testing a particular headline and it's a very, very different headline on both tests, you might then need to also change uh, the leading copy to your sales letter so it flows from that headline correctly. So in that case, you just wrap the code around the headline and you also wrap the code around the opening paragraph so that it's going to, you know, it will show option A or option B to those people. So that's single page and multi page split testing. Please do watch the rest of the videos and I wish you all the best with optimizing your site. Thank you.